Yo, what's so up guys, welcome back to another video. This is another Geography King reaction and I mean I did a reaction to this guy's channel yesterday. Well I did it today but I'm going to be posting the video tomorrow so it's kind of like yesterday. And I've been doing a lot of just more reactions to his videos in general and I'm getting addicted man. At this point I'm not even getting like specific suggestions. I'm just sort of seeing the videos in my suggestions and I'm like I want to see this and just to see what he's got to talk about. But this one is kind of different. The video is ranking the 50 state welcome signs. I'm not really sort of here to see which one's number one or number 50. Obviously that's cool to see, but I'm just sort of here to see what the actual signs are. Because I guess for people who, people who watch this video, a lot of the, you guys who watch this or just sort of know this kind of stuff already know that each individual sign, but I'm just here to sort of see each one for each state. And also to sort of compare them to UK sort of signs because I mean I've searched Welcome to Norfolk sign which is the county I'm from but like because each sort of state in the US is kind of like an indiv individual country from what I've learned over the last month like each state is like a, just a different country obviously not actually but like in terms of like cultures and just the differences it's like you're going to like a small like country and it's like I feel like the, the signs will be a lot more sort of intriguing and just exciting because it is like going to it's just it's just a big deal i guess you could say as opposed to england when our, our sort of comparison to states is counties and i know us has their counties as well but because the uk or england is so small we don't have anything that exciting but we don't actually we don't actually have one for our county but for the city that i'm from i mean <laughs> where bob is not <laughs> That can't be real. I don't even know if that, I think that is real. Not this. <laughs> what the f That's the US one, I think. Um, welcome to Norwich sign. That's the take of the piss, isn't it? <laughs> it is literally that. Not the bottom bit, but uh, yeah, it's not very exciting to be honest. And it's dirty, which just explains this. <laughs> That's a bit better in terms of cleanliness but yeah you see this and it's probably like something like this is the 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 tall this is the building that i was talking about this is the tallest building in the city still the um cathedral i don't know i was gonna care about this but no, it's, it, this is probably one actually cool thing for people who i'm gonna probably start doing videos sort of going around my city because people want to sort of see the difference in sort of city styles etc um norwich cathedral and to be fair, in the city, there is a lot of history. There's a big castle, like a hill, that sort of sits right in the middle of the city. I might have to do a separate video for this, but this is this is just sort of a little view of that. It's actually a lot taller than it looks. That there, I guess you could say. Um, all there. Or oh, Norwich Castle. Now, this one's actually quite cool. I don't know how we even got to this point. <laughs> just look at this stuff. I need to get a view of it, like, from a different angle. So this is, like... And now this is like a museum nowadays as well, but I want to sort of find how it looks in the city. Because the city is quite modernised now. It's sort of learned, this is from the market view, sort of sitting there. But there is like a hill, you can see it's on a hill. I just want to see like a view from somewhere else. I know a lot of people won't even care about this, but there is there is a lot of people who ask me to sort of like record like my area, like the city, to sort of show people what it's like. Obviously I wouldn't record right where I live because don't want to dox myself but you, I, I do I do definitely want to do that in the future because there's a lot of interest for that there is a lot of people who are interested I guess this is just what you see the hit the hill is a bit bigger than it looks here but it doesn't look very big there but yeah just I don't know how I got to there from signs <laughs> at all but it is what it is but I'm interested in seeing how the Norwich sign compares to um compares to um the state signs because I feel like they're going to be a lot more it's just exciting and just bigger and just a lot more sort of flashy, I guess. But I could be completely wrong. <laughs> We're going to see in this. And yeah, I mean, let's just get into this and see what this is about. I love to ramble. I never just don't ramble. <laughs> just log it out. How long are we into the video? Four minutes already. God damn. <laughs> For fuck's sake. <laughs> Howdy. It's Kyle going over the welcome signs to each of the 50 states. If you're on a cross-country road trip, it's always kind of exciting to hit the next state line. You see the welcome sign and you pull over to the turnout, get your picture with it, and then move on. And that's going to be your first impression of that state. And of course, in the grand... First impressions of my city, just dirt all over it. 
welcome Steam to the doors. A welcome <laughs> sign isn't that terribly important, but it, again, it is going to be your first impression. It kind of shows what the state thinks of the interstate leading into its state and how it wants its first impression to be. And just like other videos where I'm ranking the state capitol buildings and the state flags, this is all just my opinion. So think of it more like an overview of the 50 welcome signs just presented in my personal favorite order. Dead last is New York. New York is the worst. I mean, that is actually kind of... You would have thought for someone like New York, there'd be a lot more sort of flashiness about it. Eat and drink, taste New York, path through history. I love New York. Look at this thing. You don't have time to read a thousand word essay when yeah, you're driving true. by at 70 miles an hour. Even if you're a passenger, you don't have time to take all this in. It's far too busy. This stuff should be at your welcome center, not on your welcome sign. Next door neighbor Connecticut sign is also pretty bad. It looks like they were going to put something else on there. <laughs> it's just that they ran out of space. There's just an extra long space here. <laughs> it's just a bit missing. You know, couldn't about. decide what to put and this put some kind of bumper sticker off center on the sign. It just doesn't look <laughs> good at all. Ohio's looks pretty amateurish and childish with that font and find it here like what? Maybe the Norwich one wasn't actually that bad. <laughs> Herpes. So I know a lot of folks in Ohio don't like this sign. This is the brand new sign. I'm not sure why they changed it. The old one was a lot better. Washington's the looks like one you might see one. entering the state from a back road, not the interstate. And it also looks like one of the welcome signs from the early days of interstate travel in the 50s and 60s. So I think they need to update it and it just needs to look a little bit better. It looks really like sort of 70s, doesn't it? Like just, you can see it sort of rusting away, but the sort of the font and all of that, it just looks quite old school. I think what hurts Nebraska the most is the font. I think what it says, Nebraska, the good life, home of Arbor Day is all pretty cool. It's just the presentation isn't quite there. Mm. Alabama's is pretty plain looking. And I think the whole Sweet Home Alabama, Sweet home Alabama thing has been overdone. And I like the old Alabama one better. It said Alabama, the beautiful, but this is what they got now. I don't well, mind it does at least say welcome to Idaho, so at least give him credit for that. <laughs> Maine's is kind of like Nebraska in that it says the right stuff. I think it's pretty cool what it says, but the presentation is pretty bad. This looks very blah. Pennsylvania no. went the same route as Ohio with a childish, whimsical font, but the problem here is each of the four lines of text is a different font. A graphic yeah. designer would look at this and cringe. <laughs> North Carolina's is okay. It's got a picture of the flag, and I think it's been the same sign for about the past 20 years or so. But the one thing I hate about this sign is that it always has to say state line. So when you see that sign, you know you're at the state line. So saying state line is just kind of redundant. Vermont is kind of like Washington's. It's monochrome, it's not very exciting, and it looks more like the sign you would see entering the state from a back road. So I think it needs to be updated, but it looks okay. But I think. It looks like it says, Welcome Joe, Vermont. It could look <laughs> a lot better. I've never really Welcome liked to Texas. Texas' sign too much, and kind of like North Carolina's with a picture of the flag, but what I really don't like about this sign is that I can't think of anywhere in the U.S. where the drivers are less friendly than Texas, so <laughs> I think the way to improve this sign would be to put a wink emoji at the end of it. That would be much more appropriate. <laughs> I never quite understood the pure Michigan slogan. It's kind of a strange slogan for a state, but the sign looks okay. It's in a pretty neat setting, and I like the blue and the font of the M, so it's an okay sign, but definitely not one of the best. If there's one state that comes to mind when I think of the word legendary, oh, it's North Dakota. Nevada's <laughs> sign looks pretty cool, but the problem that with is it, it's such a small it. sign. I like that a lot. Again, maybe it's just the size like he's saying, but that's probably my favorite one. Well, it is my favorite one. That's really cool. It's hard to see the detail in it. So if you're driving by, it's hard to tell what that is an image of. And the sign is only about the size of a speed limit sign, which is similar to their previous welcome sign. So I'm oh, not sure wow. why Nevada likes such small welcome signs. They look pretty cool. Maybe it's to stop people from looking at it and maybe cause a crash or something. I mean, that's probably a very unrealistic unre thing to happen, but maybe it's to do with road safety, possibly. Possibly not. Maybe they just like small signs. It is. I appreciate that art. But at the same time, if something's smaller, you're going to want to look at it more so you can actually see the details. So what I'm saying is just a lie. That is actually quite weird how they do that. Because like, it's not going to cause anything more, is it? Because if it's bigger, you're going to have more opportunity to look at it. And you're probably going to look at it for less time. Because it's bigger and you can see the text and the picture. Arkansas wants just to buckle up for safety. It's pretty much all states do. But usually those types of signs are just past the welcome sign, like your speed limit signs and any kind of weird state laws you might have. So having buckle up for safety on the welcome sign, it's okay, but it doesn't make the sign look really great. 
I think the Massachusetts each. sign looks okay. I don't like the standard road sign font on your welcome signs, but I do like the rest of the sign, although that W looks more like an N. Overall, <laughs> I think Georgia sign looks okay. It's definitely a lot better than the one. That to me, that looks like a sort of a house selling sign. Like you sort of, it's like your, um, your landlord house, I don't know what it's called, house provider. The people who let you, like wait, the people you rent for kind of thing. I don't know, for me, this just looked like a sort of a house to let kind of sign. They had before, but I hate it when states have to put the governor's name on the sign, especially for Georgia, when the governor's name is almost as prominent as the welcome to Georgia. Yeah, that is kind of strange. Indiana it used to always have a pretty good sign. I think it does look pretty That's cool. Right, welcome like to Indiana, Crossroads of America. It makes perfect sense, but they've recently put Lincoln's boyhood home on there, so... You know, you already have Kentucky and Illinois claiming Lincoln. Now, Indiana, his boyhood home. Oh, really? wow. Really? That's the best you got? That's kind Take of that weird. part off. So there's three different states trying to claim. It's a pretty good sign otherwise. Virginia is one of the more polarizing ones. And that I do like the black background with kind of the weird font and gives it kind of a striking look that looks a lot different than other state signs. But I've never been a big fan of the Virginia is for lover slogan, although a lot of folks like it. Why is that slow to them? I like how this is like a hotel. Rhode Island sign looks pretty <laughs> simple, but it's also presented in a pretty cool setting. And it also, instead of saying welcome, it says that is true though. Like it is quite like kind of like a, this sort of thing around it. They sort of actually made it trying to sort of like strike you in a sense. Like the one a few ones back, the one that I said looks like um just like a house moving one. You sort of compare that to that. I think you do actually sort of appreciate it a bit more. But it does look like a sort of just a hotel sort of sign. It's simple, but it's also presented in a pretty cool setting. And it also, like instead it, of saying welcome, it says discover. Giving it a different kind of a touch. South Dakota's has the right mm. look, the right that slogan. That is cool, man. But that image is super low res. But overall, if they got a better image, it would be a great sign. That is a cool one to I me, I like man. how Oklahoma's is pretty simple, but it also looks pretty different as most signs aren't white. And That's cool. I like That's how cool. it references its indigenous heritage, but... That L in Oklahoma looks pretty weird. For Hawaii, I had to cheat a little bit, being that there are no roads that lead into it. <laughs> yeah, because you have to fly, don't you? Just have a road sign going in. I don't know how that would work. Just beside the, beside yeah, the so airport. This is the sign you see at the airport as you fly in. So I like the way it looks. It has aloha. I like the font and the flower. So it's a pretty good welcome sign coming into Hawaii. I think Delaware's looks pretty nice. I like the different shades of blue on the sign. I like the end this discovery mm. slogan, but... Just like Georgia, Delaware, nobody cares who your stupid governor is. <laughs> I think Kentucky's is pretty close to being a great sign. I like the font. I love the slogan, Unbridled Spirit, the horse at the end, birthplace of Abraham Lincoln. It's all great, but somehow it just doesn't look quite right. I'm not sure mm. if it's the monochrome look or whatever, but I think a little bit of a touch up and this could be one of the best signs. I do like how the, these sort of signs educate you a little bit on the state though. Like for me especially, like there's little slogans or like little words that they use or like the birthplace of so-and-so, the child place of so-and-so. Like it's interesting how they do sort of help you sort of just learn about the state a little bit. The ah, Maryland. The horse Never missing an opportunity the, the to state. slap a picture of its flag on everything. I think people in Maryland know that everybody else hates their flag so they put it on pretty much everything. And, I think the sign is okay, but it's kind of busy. Right. When states say we're open for business, that sounds kind of desperate, and several states do that. And again, nobody cares about your governor. <laughs> Illinois, the third state to claim Lincoln, although I do think they have the best claim to him, but I like how the I in the sign is the shape of the state, and going right down the state is the Illinois River. So pretty cool looking sign, and I like it. I've always liked South Carolina's sign. I like how the circle on the end gives it kind of a unique look, and I like the mix of the red, white, and blue. Sure. The slogan, Smiling Faces, Beautiful Places, is an okay slogan. It was on their license plates, but they're moving away from that slogan, and I think they're putting up new signs soon, but these are the ones they have right now, and I like it. This is the one that I see the most, and I think overall it looks the pretty good. State. The font is kind of weird, but you know you're coming into Tennessee, so you kind of know what it says. I do like it when states have the state nickname and a picture of the flag on it, so it gives kind of an introduction to the state, so it says a lot without saying that much. More than any other welcome sign, Montana's is the one you're most likely to see shot up with bullets or covered with stickers. It's hard to find one that hasn't been totally vandalized by somebody, but I think it is an okay looking sign. I like how it's kind of in the shape of the state, although it's not very curved, so it looks kind of weird, but 
It's kind of simple. Just got guns Like out, it says Montana. Oh, some mountains in the back. So it's an overall good-looking sign, although it is usually going to be shot up. This sign doesn't really look that good, and yet somehow I like it. I like how instead of saying, welcome to Iowa, it says, the people of Iowa welcome you. A little more friendly that way. And I do like their slogan, Fields of Opportunities. It's perfect for Iowa. I like the simplicity of California's. It's the only state where all the lettering is in gold, and that looks really good on the blue background. So it's perfect for the golden state, state and flowers, the golden time. poppy. And overall, it's just a pretty good-looking sign. So something I want to know is... When you come from whatever state you're coming from, I don't know what state this will be coming from, but when you come into this state and it says entering Pacific time, does this mean at this at this point, one state is like two hours behind and one hour one state is two hours behind, uh, ahead, or is this like a certain area where it happens? Because if one state, one like one sort of step across this state is two hours that time, or it's two two hours ahead, and then one step the other side and it's two hours behind, that would be really strange to me. And I assume that's not how it works. It probably works sort of slowly into it. It doesn't just have an instant change, but possibly it is. And if that is the case, that is kind of crazy to me. This is probably the most... I like this one a lot. I like this one a lot. Polarizing of all the sign. Of course, it looks way different than all the other ones. And this look wouldn't work at all for a state back east, but I think I like it does lot, work man. pretty well for a southwestern state. And of course, the funny thing about this sign is if you approach the state from the east, you're coming into a very brown and flat part of the state. Not exactly colorful. <laughs> Similar to Colorado, Wisconsin has another kind of folk cool art well. woodsy sign that works pretty well. Coming into Wisconsin, I like how this one has the shape of the state this as well. Wouldn't work in the west or the southeast, but for the north woods, the timberlands, it works pretty cool. I like how it says industry, recreation, and agriculture. So overall, it's kind of a folk nice art man. sign, but I like it. But do please take off the open for business thing. It really does make your state look desperate. <laughs> Louisiana makes simple look good. Something as basic as That's the cool. words welcome to Louisiana the French side to it over well. the fleur de lis just gives it a little extra touch and the bilingual message referencing its French heritage is pretty cool. I really like this sign. Mississippi is usually the butt of all the jokes. It's finishes last in all the categories for everything, but the one thing it does have going for it is that it is the birthplace of America's music. So no matter what kind of oh. pop music you listen to nowadays, it came out of Mississippi. Really? New Mexico like to do things different, and that includes their welcome sign. And I like that's that. That's the only well. state in the country that has. I like the wooden based ones. They're really cool. It's a me. yellow sign, and yellow is kind of like the school colors for New Mexico. I like how they keep the yellow theme running through signs and license plates. And Land of Enchantment is one of my favorite state nicknames, and I'm such a sucker for chili peppers. I love this sign. New Jersey's is also pretty unique, and I like how it looks kind of like one of those old-timey postcards, so it has that kind of cool. a like retro a feel to it, it while also being modern. That is cool. Minnesota's is another one where it's not it's a traditional... Is it a statue, this one? They've made a statue. It's, it's crazy how some, they don't really put any effort into it. It's just, well, not effort, but they just sort of, they'll just sort of probably put it up, and a few years later, they'll put it down and put a new one up, or they have to put the same one up, but just because it gets rusty and old. They put an actual statue up. On highway sign, and... A state can go really wrong doing something like this, making it super gaudy, but Minnesota's is pretty cool. And it's that a nice thing cool, to actually. see as you went to the I state. I like it. Really nice welcome. Arizona's is another one that says a lot without saying that much. You get the state's nickname along with the welcome message and the state symbol, which appears on its flag. And because the state symbol is so cool, it makes the overall that sign nice, look pretty actually. cool. Florida's does a really good job of letting you know I you're like entering the subtropics. So yeah. there's a couple of images of... It's different, man. It is different, and it's, this one is probably my most sort of ple most pleasing on the eye. The font seems good, seems exciting. I can sort of imagine you driving into this sort of this state and just getting the excitement of being in Florida because there's so many things to do there. I do like palm this one trees a lot. and the sun for the O in Florida. This gives it a really cool look, and you know you're coming somewhere that's going to be sunny and hot. New Hampshire's is very simple, very classy. I like the contrast of colors. I like the bilingual message with New Hampshire being right there on the border with Quebec, and New Hampshire has the best state slogan in the country. I don't you think sure any don't. sign says more with less than this one. I really, really like this one. I love oh, how the, the S is the, S. the river heritage of oh, the Oh, that state. is cool. Just a very that simple message. Cool. You got the sun. It does look kind of whimsical, which I generally don't like, but in this setting... The sun over the eye would have been pretty cool, but then that would have to be a lowercase eye, but still, that is actually quite sick. I think it looks really good and one of my absolute favorites. Wyoming's is the first of two that has an actual real image on it with That's the name cool. superimposed. And 
kind of like New Jersey's. The font makes it look kind of like one of those old-timey postcards. The scene is a beautiful Wyoming scene. The cowboy in the corner makes it look great. The only thing I don't like about it is that the previous one was even better, but this is a really cool sign and definitely one of the best. West Virginia's is the other one that has a real photo on its sign, and this was the first state to do it. And this is really It cool. looks kind of busy, but it isn't hard to see what's going on. So it represents the state well. The words being kind of curved makes it look a little bit nicer, and you know you're coming into a state that's mostly going to be green, mostly wilderness, and it's wild and wonderful. Mm -hmm. Well, it's at least wild. Four Compare left. the blue Counts. on this sign to the blue in all the other ones. It is so much brighter. And that sunflower in the corner is really cool. Kansas is the sunflower state. It's one of the sunniest states in the country, so to have a really bright sign is very fitting. It's been pretty much the same sign design through the years. and There's been a few updates every now and then, but it's always looked really good. I'm definitely a sucker for things that Oh, are that is cool as hell. The statue type ones are really cool to me. And this sign is definitely unique. It doesn't have to say much, but you know you're coming into a green wooded state and the overall sign looks like a piece of art. Mm -hmm. These are pretty new signs, so I wonder how they're gonna hold up through time, but right now they look gorgeous. Whenever I see this sign, it makes Ooh. me smile. I'm coming. Oh, that's cool. Again, I can sort of just imagine getting excitement coming to this one. That is so cool. You can sort of imagine this sort of sign being taken away and then seeing this exact thing just behind Coming it. Coming into my favorite state for outdoor activities, and this is just a really good representation of the state. With the canyons and the arches in the foreground, the mountains in the background, and a really cool state slogan, this is a <laughs> Look at all the US flags just there sign. as well. Although it does look like the U has a flat tire. And the best <laughs> welcome sign in the country is oh, this is be... Oh my god. That is actually so nice. Some of these are so interesting. It's crazy how some of these have got such like detail yeah. in them. You've got all the individual little islands like carved out. Oh my god, that is so sick. This thing is beautiful and just like Oregon, it's like a work of art. And yes, you can drive to Alaska. You do have to go through portions of Canada to get there, but this is the sign you will see as you enter the state. Oh wow. I think each entrance is a little bit different based on the That's part cooler. of the state you're entering, but That's it cooler. pretty much is this sign and it's beautiful. So there you have it, an overview of the I enjoyed this signs map. of the 50 states. And like I was saying at the beginning, this isn't all that terribly important in the grand scheme of things. But it's just fun to look at this kind of stuff and just to see sort of, and you do get like a little bit of the cultures and like all these different things, the little sayings and all the little things that maybe you didn't know, but it just helps you know a bit, a bit more about the state when you go into it and see like a sign. Signs also cost next to nothing for these state governments. So. It might cost in the order of thousands of dollars to change these signs, but your state budgets are in the hundreds of billions of dollars. Mm. So it's a really simple thing to change, but I think it does make a pretty good difference relative to what you're putting into it cost-wise. Shout out to this guy, man. Again, give him some love if you haven't already, because his channel is really like, I'm really getting just sucked into his channel. Like the more I see of his videos, the more I want to see like geography, geography of sports team markets. That'll probably be a reaction for my second channel. I know, I know I'll enjoy that one for sure. Eight worst places in the US. Top 25 skylines in North America. And just all these things. 10 best regional foods in the US. Geography of Mexico for Americans. Northern versus Southern California. Like all these different videos are so interesting, man. Ranking the US state flags. I'd like to see that one as well, actually. But let's see some of the comments. As a British guy who is 100% in love with the USA, I had to subscribe to Fun yesterday. That's literally me a few days ago when I subscribed to him. I was like, you know what? I have to see, I have to see more of this stuff. I just enjoy his videos so damn much. Welcome to Hawaii. How did you get here by car? <laughs> Welcome to colorful Colorado. Has a brown and white welcome sign. I do like the sign though. I do like... <laughs> it's a good point. No, it is a good point. At 708, that's Lincoln's face, not Illinois River. Wait, what? River, so... Wait, what's he... I'm confused. Is that really? Fucking hell. Oh! Oh, that! Oh, shit! That is actually pretty cool. So that should have re-ranked higher then, because that's actually a really cool sort of little addition. That is so sick. That is so sick. Ranking state license plates, and also... Wait, so different states have different license plates? So say you drive from one state to another state, do you have to change your license plate or does it just know what state you're from? 
I guess you don't have to change it, it just knows what state you're from. That's kind of crazy. Also, a personal ranking of each state capital. I know he's done a video on that, I'm definitely going to react to that as well. You're making videos I didn't even know I wanted exactly for me as well. Virginia looks like an ad for an adult shop. Before I watch this, I'm going to say Minnesota's monument, like, well, welcome to Minnesota sign should definitely be top five. Michigan sign looks like a budget water bowl brand. <laughs> let's, just see, let's just see top of the 50 if that's New York here. Let's just see what it looks like. Yeah, when you look back at that now, it is kind of just like, I mean, it is what it is, but it is just, there's a lot, isn't there? There's a lot on there. Connecticut was just boring. Ohio one's a bit strange, but I enjoy this kind of stuff. And to be honest, I feel like all of these are probably better than my, again, let's just go to my <laughs> Norwich Walking <laughs> Sun. I can't get over this. How bad. <laughs> this is just, this is just hilarious, man. Like, can I see proper which, just <laughs> Just look at this. Oh my god, that is hilarious. <laughs> I find city walls all dirty and all that sort of stuff. Fuck's sake. That is hilarious. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. And until next time, like, subscribe. Peace.